on example 9, we're trying to find the length of the AC, which I'll denote with an X, in acute triangle ABC. So I'm going to follow this X across to the angle it's opposite from. That's 36. And so notice that I have enough information here to use the law of, of cosines. So this side is directly opposite this angle. So that's going to be like my C squared and my cosine of C on the other side of the equation. Here's going to be my A and my B. So when I set this up, X squared will be equal to A squared, so 45 squared, plus B squared, 52 squared, minus 2 times, and it's the same two sides, times 45 times 52 times the cosine of the angle that is opposite the side I'm squaring, which is 36. Now, this gives me x squared, but I don't want x squared, I want x. So I just have to take the square root of this whole deal. I would recommend you putting this in the calculator in two steps, putting everything that's underneath the square root symbol first, and then take the square root of that. When I do, I get x is approximately equal to 30.7 centimeters. Okay, now what I do want you to notice is that this is side, angle, side. Side, angle, side is a congruent shortcut, so that makes exactly one triangle. And for that configuration of pieces, we get to use the law of cosines in order to solve it. Notice that this is the same exact example that we tried to look at a few videos or slides ago, and we tried to apply the law of cosines, or sines to it, but it didn't work. It does work with the law of cosines, though. All right, on example 10, we want to solve triangle ABC. We want to get all the sides and the angles. We already have all three sides, so we just have to find the angles. Here's the tip. 12 is the biggest side, so directly opposite it must be the biggest angle. If you're going to have an obtuse angle in a triangle, it has to be this one. Okay, and cosine is the only one that we're going to be able to find an obtuse angle with, so that's the one we're going to find first. So it'll be on the, uh, in the equation all by itself, 12 squared is equal to, and then on the opposite side we're going to be taking the cosine of C over here. So 12 squared is equal to 8 squared plus 6 squared minus 2 times the same sides, 8 times 6 times the cosine of angle C. So we have to get cosine of C by itself, and then we're going to take the inverse cosine. Now I wouldn't recommend that you work all this out. These are pretty small numbers, so it'd be okay It'd be pretty easy to do, but the numbers could get kind of large and unwieldy, so just leave them squared like this and then just solve it. So I have to add this to this side. Subtract that 12 squared over to the opposite side, and I'm going to have 2 times 8 times 6 should be equal to 8 squared plus 6 squared. Whoops, I forgot in here. This should be. Let me pull out the eraser. times the cosine of C, there we go, equals 8 squared plus 6 squared minus the 12 squared. Then to finish it off, I have to divide both sides by 2 times 8 times 6. So that'll cancel out. And then I have to finally take the inverse cosine of this whole deal. 8 squared plus 6 squared minus 12 squared all over 2 times 8 times 6. And I'll finish this up in the next video.